Tesla Cybertruck Giga Press is 8,000 ton. Idra has just shown world's first 8,000 ton disc, um, die casting machine, and it seems to be Giga Press for the upcoming Tesla Cybertruck. Welcome back, dear friends. This is Armin Harayan from TorqueNews.com. If you are here first time, please subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla and electric vehicle news. And also ring the notification bell so you don't miss my next Tesla or EV coverage. As well as if you would like to support our channel, please um, uh, send us an upload, which you will find next to the uh, like button. And also please give us thumbs up. That will help for YouTube to post this video in front of more people and Tesla and EV enthusiasts. Now, do you remember when we shared with you Tesla's colossal GigaPress die casting machine in my previous reports? It's the size of a house and can help Tesla build cars more quickly and efficiently. The gem comes from IDRA or IDRA group and it's actually not the largest unit the company makes. During the Tesla's quarter four and uh, 2022 earnings call, uh, 2020 earnings call, CEO Elon Musk remarked that uh, Cybertruck, the company's all electric pickup, will require a Giga Press that's larger than the already massive machines installed uh, for the Model Y rear underbody in the Fremont factory. A video of the first of these machines was recently shared by Idra Group, the company uh, that produces the house-sized die-casting contraptions for Tesla to build the Cybertruck. While Idra did not name Tesla directly in its video, the Italy-based company noted that a leading manufacturer of electric cars has ordered its first 8,000-ton die-casting machine. Apart from being an evident reference to Tesla, Idra's mention of the machine's specs also mirrors that of Elon Musk's statements during the previous earnings call, says Simon Alvarez at Tesla Radi, saying while addressing an analyst's inquiries, the CEO of Tesla noted that the Cybertruck would be, quote-unquote, using an 8,000-ton casting press for its rare body casting. And today, Idra's uh, CEO also said 8,000 ton casting machine with, for a leading EV manufacturer. Once again, Idra makes a world's first for technological innovation, and we are very proud to announce that today, on the 16th of March 2021, we have been able to secure the first order for an 8,000 ton die casting machine. This order is being placed by a leading global manufacturer for new energy vehicles, IDRA general manager Ricardo Ferraro said. I think after this, it's just would be good if Elon Musk just confirms and saying, yes, uh, this is ours. And because everything points to Tesla. The Tesla Model Y is being produced with a Giga Press, a formidable machine capable of producing the all electric crossover single piece rare antibody. The Model Y's Giga Press is a 6,000 ton contraption, but as Musk mentioned during the quarter four and uh, 2020 earnings call, since the Cybertruck is a larger vehicle, it would require an even larger die casting machine. Interestingly enough, the IDRA general manager mentioned in the company's recent video that the 8,000 ton press is designed to create components for large vehicles like the Cybertruck, among others. By the way, I will have that video, it's a short video, in the description of this video reporting so you can peruse it. Here's a quote from Ricardo Ferraro. This giant machine will be used for the production of chassis components of larger vehicles such as pickup trucks, full electric lightweight goods vehicles, and SUVs. It is a maestro and not only shows the capabilities of IDRA's technical superiority, but also validates the many, many years of hard work that have gone into, into realizing this project, Ferraro said. So how, what else, friends, do you need to, uh, to be convinced that this is talking about Cybertruck? Um, Particularly noteworthy in IDRA's video was the general manager mentions of the vehicle like SUVs and full electric lightweight goods vehicles that could be produced during the 8,000 ton Giga Press. Uh, considering that the 8,000 ton Giga Press can create larger parts, the idea of Tesla Transit 1 or perhaps a larger full-size SUV may be feasible. 
Elon Musk noted in his master plan part two, uh, part uh, second master plan second part that Tesla would be expanding in electric vehicle lines and address major segments. After all, with this in mind, the Cybertruck's Giga Press could very well be the machine that takes Tesla a step closer to completing the second phase of Musk's grand strategy. Friends, if you aren't already aware. Tesla is working to make cars much like matchbox cars, with single large castings and fewer parts. It has already used similar machines for the Model Y electric crossovers rare antibody. antibody. Some people may point out that Ferraro never actually names Tesla in the video uh, that I'm going to have in the description of this report, which you can use. However, like I said, he names a quote-unquote leading global manufacturer for new energy vehicles. While this may be enough to convince most people he is talking about Tesla, he also goes on to share details that coincide precisely with Elon Musk's discussion during the previous call, like I said earlier, um, the 8,000 ton specs of that die casting machine, which is the IDRA Giga Press for Tesla. Moreover, as IDRA has made these announcements in the past related to the smaller but still huge at 6,000 ton die casting machines, it has continued to be in reference to Tesla and its orders and implementation. Ferrario continued via Tesla Radi saying, this giant machine will be used for production of chassis com uh, components of larger vehicles such as pickup trucks. Uh, he doesn't make test. He doesn't say particularly cyber truck, but larger electric vehicles, uh, pickup truck, lightweight goods vehicles, and SUVs. Um, so the capabilities, for instance, it looks like I'm receiving a phone call. So the capabilities uh, show the superiority of IDRA and many years of hard work that have gone into realizing this project. Um, I read some interesting comments in Tesla Radi about Tesla's Cybertruck Gigapress. For example, James Vatazda writes, quote, This machine is going to prove that the game is no longer from now on 0 to 60 or aggressive grills or beautiful styles, but the distance between the selling price and manufacturing cost and in, the, in this regard, this is go isn't going to anybody coming even close, not even Volkswagen. Another person uh, named Philip writes, but the major legacy automakers still have a marketing ace up their sleeves that is already paying off. They will continue to put their electric vehicles through the least favorable EPA test to get the lowest range rating and then when they perform better when tested by uh, Automax declare victory and that they have caught up to Tesla. Even if Tesla is still getting longer ranges with these uh, with less kilowatt hours, the legacy automakers will continue to dazzle with smoke and mirror marketing along with other auto journalism op-eds to confuse um, consumers into thinking that they have as good or better of product compared to Tesla. This is how some people think, and this was a quote. We are already seeing these divided um, div uh, dividends paying off in endless negative Tesla versus X automaker articles from everyone, from Business Insider, CNBC, or Jalopnik, says another commentator. This is my view, right? This is why people are commenting and talking. So in 2019, Jerome Guyen indicated that Tesla Grohman Automation were working on a giant, giant, giant machine to make full-size cars in the same way that toys, car, toy cars are made. This is just a little background about the Giga Presses. The two biggest casting machines in the world had been purchased by Tesla, according to Elon Musk, in April 2020 to enable casting the Tesla Model Y rear chassis and crash rails as a single component in January 2021. Elon Musk announced that also the rear chassis of the Tesla Cybertruck would be produced using an over 8,000 ton force um, casting machine. On March 16, 2021, several days ago, an order that has been placed with IDRA for the first 8,000 ton die casting machine. This is what 
test uh, Giga Press Giga um, uh, Giga Wikipedia page says. So as of February 2021, Tesla had three casting machines installed at Giga Shanghai, two machines installed at the Tesla fact, uh, factory in uh, California, and one machine particularly installed at each of um, Giga Berlin and Giga Austin with foundations in preparation for additional Giga Press machines. We're expecting eight Giga Presses to go for Giga Berlin. This is Armin Haryan from TalkNews.com. Please subscribe to our channel, ring the bell, give us thumbs up if this video was informative and useful. And also, um, if you would like to support our channel, please send us an upload, which you will see next to the like button. Have a great day. God bless you, everyone. Peace be with all of you.